In the ancient German convent at Hereford, the nuns were kneeling in prayer before the altar. In the dim light, the chapel was peaceful and quiet. Suddenly, the door was flung open, and soldiers with clubs and swords rushed in, shouting and knocking over the pews. The nuns fled in terror, seeking refuge in their cells. But when the soldiers looked about them, they saw a young girl who had not fled with the others. She was praying to God as though nothing had happened. The men left quietly, feeling ashamed. That night, they told their master, Duke Henry, about the young girl. He rode to the convent and asked who she was. He was told that she was Matilda, a royal princess. Duke Henry wanted a devout and courageous girl for his wife. They were married, and shortly afterward, Duke Henry was crowned King of Germany. Matilda, his queen, helped her husband to govern the kingdom, for she was not only good, but wise. In her royal robes, she looked like a true queen, the most beautiful woman in the kingdom. But to look like a royal queen was not enough. She worked with her hands, spinning and weaving, and always had her prayer book near. When her husband died, Matilda had much trouble with her sons, who quarreled over the kingdom. For a while, she went to live in the convent, praying that her family would find peace. If such were God's will, God accepted her prayer, and Matilda returned to the world. Her sons gave her back her possessions, and she used them to build churches and hospitals. In the last years of her life, she again went to live in a convent, preparing herself for a holy death. She put aside her silk gowns for a rough, coarse robe. Her five children, who had given her much joy, but also caused her much pain, buried her next to Henry, her husband, as she wished. St. Matilda's feast day is March 14th. She is a patron saint of parents with large families. Oh God, you gave St. Matilda the courage to stay with you when her fellow nuns ran in fear. Help us to follow her example and stay with you, even when others run away. 